What's going on guys? It's your boy John the Liquidator coming back with another video and oh my god there is a lot of nonsense and a lot of fake news surrounding Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes and we have about to go in. I'm about to break it all down. For this one here we gotta go all the way up to Boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. Shake the Within the last seven days, there has been a lot of fake stories and fake allegations coming out about Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes. Now, I've been seeing everything. I didn't really want to touch on it too much just because I knew the information was fake. But at this point, what transpired on social media yesterday was the hump that broke the camel back with John and Liquidator, bruh. I felt it was only right for me to make my return back to the Colorado Buffaloes content, back to how things was because as of right now what is going on is wrong and we need a voice to stand on business and y'all already know how I'm coming bruh this ain't right dog now we know as Colorado Buffalo fans the media has been writing these hit pieces for the last year and a half this ain't nothing new but when you start saying that they pulling up with guns in the locker room you got players fighting and it's getting bloody come on bruh y'all bold face line to the people and then you got big other platforms bringing these people on their show validating the damn lie when is somebody gonna step up and call them out for this bs bruh this is wrong and the story don't end there you got other reporters talking about coach prime should step down step down for what this stuff is fake it ain't real and then you got other content creators going along with the lie man it's just a whole lot going on and i've been peeping this for the last like week and a half and i was just like dang ain't nobody gonna say nothing on the tube ain't nobody gonna call these guys out get right down to the point get right down to the business let it be known this stuff is fake now everybody got sources everybody noticed this information is fake but ain't nobody pressing none of these reporters ain't nobody pressing none of these people on twitter writing what they writing besides the twitter people shout out to all the twitter homeboys but other than that ain't nobody coming on the tube standing on business and that's gonna change because john the liquidator is back so if you guys haven't heard right now this is what i'm ranting about roll the damn footage on allegations um it's rampant there uh there's there is a video that's circulating that i uh, actually found after the piece where they're asking i believe it's bucky is going around asking who's the most strapped on the team and people are giving their opinions um it's it's not just one person it's multiple people um i found a, a video also last night of travis hunter and Dion fishing and there's uh, a gun in plain sight while he's fishing so um it, it, it seems like it's just part of the culture that was this fool Steve appearing on another podcast. I ain't finna give him no type of clout over here, bruh. Now, they stating that Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes going around telling people who is the most strapped. Dude, call Bucky, Bucky. Bruh, you ain't allowed to call Bucky, Bucky, bruh. Call him Deion Sanders Jr., bruh. We ain't taking that away from you right now, dog. This is ridiculous. Now, for the record, it wasn't even Junior video he's referring to. He's referring to Darius video on Reach the P. People, when they was talking about being strapped, we're hitting people on the team. Roll the footage, man. We're we'll getting strapped all day. But the defense nominated you for uh, strap, strapped up. What do you mean, buddy? <laughs> I've been strapping the most up out here. We got oh, we have plenty of nominations. That was the actual footage this Steve dude was referring to in the interview that he did yesterday now do it sound like they was talking about guns no it did not which means to tell me you might have a defamation lawsuit on your hand because as of right now you're lying to the people telling people that Colorado is about guns bruh but at the end of the day though these young men are old enough to buy guns if they are of age it's not illegal to own a gun bro but you trying 
trying to spin it to like they gangsters and thugs. And to be honest with you, it's looking real racist. I just got to keep it real. I'm somebody that has been the bro to Colorado numerous of times. I done talked to Ample players. I know the ins and outs of the team, bro. These are fine young men. Have you not seen the graduation rate? Do that sound like somewhere where thugs is located at? Why we ain't talking about Georgia? How come they players ain't graduating right now? But y'all want to sit up here and talk about guns and violence like Coach Prime is thugs. And let's not even forget about this dude down in Arizona because he looking real racist too. I'm standing on business. Roll the footage because I'm about to fire him up as well. Or what Rick George, the athletic director, has worked so hard to establish about the University of Colorado. Does it bother you that it's all about Prime? Does it bother you that he doesn't want to go to in-home visits for recruits and said, recruits would rather see my house? Does it bother you that you're pulling in very small high school recruiting classes, which has been proven time and time again, year in and year over, about the best way to develop guys on the offensive and defensive line? Does it bother you at all that last year you finished the season losing eight of your final nine football games of the season? And that in crunch time against teams like Arizona and Stanford, you failed to execute the little things. And does it bother you that the player face of your program is more interested in his watch and you know what he can get from endorsement deals, his music career, and his NFL draft status than playing for the Buffalo on his helmet? I'm wondering if it bothers you because I know what Colorado's football history. Cut it off. Cut it off. I had enough. Does it bother you that the front of your face is like the teeth of a donkey, bruh? Does it bother you that you all up in Colorado Buffalo business when you got an Arizona flag right behind you? Does it bother you that you're talking about the bus to try to get clicks? Does it bother you that you ain't even a Buff fan? Why do you even care about what is going on with the Buffaloes? Don't you got reporting that you need to do for Arizona, but you all over here in the buff business, bruh. Does that bother you, Mr. Uh, whatever the hell your name is? But at the end of the day, bruh, I'm sick of this. Every single day, it feels like it's somebody weighing in, chiming in on Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes. This is getting out of hand. This is all about recruiting. These people is trying to stop Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes from landing Juju Lewis and a host of other recruits. That's what I believe all of this is about. and It is getting out of hand. And I'm telling y'all right now, I'm vowing to Buff Nation. I'm coming back and I'm standing on business. I wish another person would say something. And we finna make these videos do numbers. Because I'm going to make you famous. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on. Because you want to know why? Because I'm going to put it on blast. And until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. You coming. You should have seen by now. Coming. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubt us. We coming. They, they saying. We coming. They think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.